Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world of Wayne. And today I thought we'll throw ourselves in the deep end and we'll finish off what we've got for the uh, Centauria and Panini collections, Ferrari F40, Competizione. We're going to be building stages 30, 31 and 32. I'm in a really mischievous mood today. What would happen if you mix Terminator with Star Wars? You get Chewbacca Terminator. <laughs> My Chewbacca mask fell off the wall, so I thought, where can I put it? So I've stuck it on one of the Terminators for now, which is quite fun. Um, right, after the issue that we have with issue 29 with all the pipes and stuff, the next three issues are quite easy. But issue 30, as you're about to see, uh, starts off completely ambiguous. So what I'll do is I'll work through the magazine and the parts, and then when I get to the next magazine, I'll show you that and so on and so on. But let me just show you what issue 30 is doing. So do you realise in issue 29 we didn't have a centrefold because there was so much to do? But today's centrefold is the Ferrari 250 LM looking just like that. And as you can see, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be putting, uh, it says here, this is great, retrieve the power unit and identify the hole indicated in the image. What's the power unit? It doesn't come in this issue, so they don't tell us what it is. Just so you know, the power unit is this pipe that we've had from the previous stage to so just identify that stage. This is the pipe we're gonna need, but it doesn't actually tell you that on the instructions, which is crazy. And then we're gonna be working on the dashboard here and the pedals here that we're gonna be putting in the vehicle. So there's not much to do in that. And as you can see in the next two issues, uh, we've just got some parts here, which to be honest with you, don't take up a lot of time. And that's pretty much why I've batched all of these together. But uh, this is gonna be a lot easier than issue 29 was. So without further ado, Let's get cracking. Okay, so we're going to bring over the engine. If you're unsure what that looks like, it looks just like that. And uh, this module that they want us to put in is basically a lead with a center stalk with all of these pipes coming off it. Now, all of these pipes have got ends on them, except one of them, and that is this end here. It's this end here that's going to be going into the vehicle. And I'm going to try and show you this. This is going to be pretty tricky under the manifold on this side if you remember we had a lead just like this with two points coming out of it going into a hole just there can you see that now on top of that there is a hole with nothing in it you can just about see it through the manifold there that's where we've got to put <laughs> nothing tricky of course in this issue uh, that's where we've got to put this blank end here so probably going to be best to use my tweezers for this i'm just trying to see if i can actually get that in and by the look of it, they do want it in under the manifold, not over it here. So uh, I'm going to be putting it under the manifold. Yes, I'm going to need the tweezers. Now, why on earth they want this pipe put in now, when we put the pipe in front of it to block our way is completely beyond me. We should have done this a lot earlier. But uh, let's get this in. Just like that. Push it in as hard as I can get it. So there we go, that's in, <laughs> into that side there. So you know what, I've got to count how many loose leads I've got. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got ten leads which don't seem to be going anywhere at the moment. <laughs> so uh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Thank God we can grab this and put that all the way to the other side and not have to worry about that for a little while. Because this is where I actually get to the stage where I can actually open the pack. <laughs> so let's open the pack and see what we've got. Now the first part we need is the pedal mounting that comes in this stage and that looks just like this. We also need the dashboard that we finished in issue 10. And basically this has got two lugs just at the bottom there they're going to go onto the two lugs you can see on the or the two holes sorry you can see on the dashboard just there now you want to put them in so that these three holes are facing outward so this is just going to fit on top just like that screwed in from the other side here with type t screws and they are silver ones here so let's get them in that's the first one and one more And that's the second one. So there we go. That's nice and tight in there. So the next thing we need is the pedals here. And where we put this on this side, we're going to turn it upside down. And you can see we've got four lug holes here. The ones we're interested in are these two 
here and the one at the bottom. The two in the middle are going to actually hold the pins that we've got in the top there. So when this goes in, it's going to sit in over the pins like that. Then we're going to attach it with a T-screw through the lug there. Now, you might not just be able to see it because the wire's in the way of this one. So it's going to be quite interesting to see if we can get a screw in here. But we'll have a go. I'm actually just going to bend it up because there is no way in a million years I'm going to get that screw in there. There we go. And then tighten that up. God, that was hard. That wire getting in the way there. What a pain. There we go. That's as tight as I can get it. But there we go. That's the pedals attached. As you see, when you put them down, they do tip, click when you uh, press them to operate whatever they're going to be operating at the time. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Then stage 31, I'll go straight to the centerfold. This time we've got a load of Ferrari SWB GTs from 1962 to 1965. Look at that there. Uh, but what we're going to be building, if I just get to that, is the gearbox controls and the control units. Looks like a lot of parts, but to be honest with you, again, it's only two pages. There's not really a lot to do. So let's get on that now. See what I mean? That lots of parts, but you've got to love the detailing of the summoners. Look at it. <laughs> That's absolutely brilliant. Okay, what we need are the two sections here of the gearbox. So what we're going to do is we're going to push these together. Now it doesn't need glue. It's saying it doesn't need glue, but I'm going to see that for myself. Oh yeah, you're definitely not going to need glue for that. <laughs> and then if you wanted to, I, I, I haven't mentioned this in the past, but if you wanted to use a bit of Tamiya, got here extra thin glue. You could run that down the seams just to help to start to hide the seams if you wanted to. Uh, I'm not going to be doing that because you're not really going to see this piece. What we are going to do is mount the gear lever. So we've got the lever uh, sort of like track is going to be going into these three holes here, making sure we put it in the right way. It's going to go in this way onto the hole. So I'll push this in. That'll give you an idea of how that looks. Just clips in like that. Now you will notice some continuity errors in this because I forgot to put the switch in. <laughs> this is the little switch. It just goes into the top of the mesh here, just at the top there and just push it in so it looks like that. But you will see this lying on my desk later on. And then as you can see, there's a hole in the middle there, which is going to take the gear stick. So we just push the gear stick into the hole like that. Uh, again, not glued in, just held in place on its own by friction. Now on this side of the gear lever we've got a hole here which is vertical we're going to want to put this tiny detail here now as you can see we have got a pin or a nipple come in there we need to make sure that's pointing down so when we put this in again no glue just sits in like that i probably am going to do something about those sides even if i push them together you still have got a seam but i'll probably do that in post-production obviously make sure it's straight in there and then the last thing we've got is just into this hole at the top. We've got the gearbox controls, which just push into that there. Just like that. And then that is the completed gear stick assembly. And guess what? That's all there is to do in that stage. Now this is the last stage, stage 32. In the centerfold there, we've got the Ferrari 275 GTB-C 1967. What are we going to be building? We've got lots of pipes again by the look of it, but we're going to be doing the wiring cables and control units. And again, we do need some parts that we've just worked on, but there's hardly anything to do. So let's get cracking on this one. Now you don't want to get confused with the wires. You've got the ones with the long stalk at the back and the ones with a short stalk. You have also got ones which have got hardly any pipes and wires on at all. So, But the one we want to start off with is this one here without the stalk. And quite simply, all we're going to be doing is taking the left bank control here, and we're going to be plugging that into the wires uniformly as we go down. So the top one here is going into the first pipe we come to. The second one's going into the second. The third one is going into the third. Then we've got the smaller bank here, looking like that, which is going to go into the fourth pipe. Just like that and basically that section's complete so we can put that to one side then we're going to take the one with the big long trunk on here and we're going to do exactly the same so we're going to have one going in the top one going in the second side here 
second connector should I say the third one going into this third connector just like that and then we've got the fourth one here going into the fourth did I say fourth for that one I meant the first second third and this one's going into the fourth just like this now that will leave one pipe here with nothing in it I am aware of that all the rest of the pipes have got look sort of like connectors in the middle of them and guess what with that and that that's all there is to do in that stage now if probably worth putting this to one side we've got sort of like some electrical components here we've got another electrical components god there's so much that we need to keep safe in this build and obviously we've got the pipe that we haven't done anything with in this one. I also have quite a few T screws left over as well, so I'm gonna keep them in a bag as well. But if I just lay these out here, this is what we've done in these three packs. And obviously we do have a lot of that stuff that's spare left over. You know what, I don't know if I like having loads and loads of parts left over that we don't do anything with and God knows when we're actually going to be using them. Uh, and it's all very well putting them in a bag and writing on the bag what issue number they come from. But as we just saw in issue 30, that doesn't help sometimes because they're just identifying parts by what they look like rather than what issue they came in. So uh, hmm, we're going to have a shelf now full of bits and pieces and some made parts. I really do hope I can find these when the time comes for me to actually use them. But anyway, listen, I really do hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.